This is a, an example of what, what I've been talking about. Here's an example of a potential persona. And this person is going to have to go, generally they go through three stages. Awareness, consideration, decision. Awareness is they're getting to know you. Um, consideration, they're researching, they're finding out more, they're doing comparisons. Decision is they're going to maybe select you because you offer the best price or the best service or even the best return policy. So here's an example of a fictional set of personas for a productivity company. Uh, it's a project management system uh, made up. So we have four potential personas and the, a description of who they might be, some potential archetype information, and their pain points. So uh, the project manager persona, Michelle, she might be actively looking to switch from her current project management system to another versus the entrepreneur who has something that's sort of working okay and may not be actively switching. So how we reach them is going to be different. Michelle might be searching in Google for like best project management system or alternatives to Asana versus Jason, who is reading the New York Times, sees an ad for a brand new productivity system and is going to be interested in, in learning more. So how we reach them and how we market to them, whether it's on Google or any of the other channels, is going to be very different. So that's at the foundation of this principle, this idea, is that we need to now go beyond keywords and into personas and persona understanding and pain points so that we can make sure that our strategies are targeting people at all of those stages. And you can see here, you know, the, these are the three stages again, awareness, consideration, and decision. But now we have them also on the, 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 the buying stages and the journey. So it's you know, learning more, refining, engaging, and then finally uh, committing to the company. So, and then um, here's, here's essentially that, that same breakdown. And here's, I mean, a kind of a different way, again, these are different ways of visualizing, and in this chart, we can actually add in the different channels. I mentioned briefly that how we reach Michelle, um, we might find her on Google, but maybe John, we might find on, uh, Facebook, checking his social media, and then we, he sees like a, an ad to a webinar about how to improve productivity. So reaching them is going to be highly different based on their needs and their pain points. So moving into that, the, the first goal is to put enough people in at the top of the funnel. So that, that's obviously where the most volume needs to be because not everyone's going to make it all the way through. So, you know, in the past, you know, when working with Google and optimizing, I, it was what I used to call it the shotgun approach, where we're just throwing content out there, keywords, and hoping it worked. Now we have enough data at our disposal and enough channels that we can become a lot more strategic with what we do and how we reach them. So I'm going beyond organic because the, at the top of the funnel, people may not even know about us. So perhaps Michelle, or Michelle is maybe our project manager, but maybe John does not know that he wants to switch. So he'll never come into our funnel because he's not actively um, searching in Google. So that's where Facebook ads come in because we can catch him when he's surfing Facebook, when he's just you know looking for even funny videos. And we can, if the ad is captivating enough, we can capture him and add him into our funnel. So there's some notes here about how to feed the top of the funnel. The key is that it has to be our cheapest traffic because we need volume. We need a lot of people to come into that funnel so we can start nurturing them. And if, we, if our CPC or CPA is too high, then it won't be an effective strategy. So the idea here is to use a lot of different testing mechanisms, testing audiences, testing creatives, testing different uh, ad types, videos, everything, so that we can identify the most cost-effective way to feed that top of the funnel.